Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys what I carry around with me when I go cycling. It's not as exciting as my normal videos, but I thought it's important because, you know, I've been in trouble a lot of times when I first started cycling and just want to share what I bring so that I'm prepared and don't run into any issues. So first up, really important, always bring water with you. You don't want to get dehydrated or die of heat exhaustion or whatever, so always bring a water bottle. This is thermal insulated and whatever, and uh, it's also BPA free. And right here I have a mini bicycle pump, and uh, if I ever get a flat then I can just use that pump instead of having to go to a gas station and pump up my tires, so that's always good to carry with you. And back here I have an underseat pouch which everyone should get and I'll show you what I keep in here. Alright, and in my bag I've got a little mini flashlight which comes in handy in the dark. I do ride around at night a lot. And I've got a uh, mini tool here and in case, you know, I need to adjust my handlebars, uh, take something off, you know, fix my pedals, shoes, this comes in handy. So always bring this with you. And I've also got two spare inner tubes, and always, always, always carry spare inner tubes with you. You never know when you're going to get a flat, and it really fucking sucks when you're like 70 kilometers away from home, you don't know where the fuck you are, and, you know, you're just stuck out in the middle of nowhere because you have a flat tire. Um, always carry spare tubes, not just patches. Most of the punctures that I get can't be repaired with patches. They're for whatever reason, always fucking gigantic, and yeah, just always carry spare tubes with you. And lastly, I've got these tire pry bar things. Um, you can't always remove tires with your, just entirely by your hands, and these stop you from wrecking your fingers and getting cuts and crap, so always carry these with you too. And usually in this pouch, I carry food with me. It's usually a bag of dates or some cliff bars. Uh, if you're going out for more than an hour, then you should carry some food with you. An hour and a half is just the absolute maximum that you should really go out without any food. But uh, it's, yeah, so if you're training for over an hour, carry some food with you. Uh, dates, cliff bars, those are my best recommendations. Uh, today I'm not carrying any food with me when I'm going out cycling because I'm planning on going to a vegan restaurant downtown and I'm probably going to make a video about it. And it's also usually a good idea to carry your wallet with you just in case. You never know, you might run out of food, you might need to get something, you might need some repairs on your bike, and you might be near a bike shop, whatever. So always carry your, your wallet or some money with you. Uh, you can put money in this little pouch. Uh, you don't have to carry your entire wallet with you, but just make sure you have a little bit of money just so that you can buy something in case of an emergency and make sure it's a Spider-Man wallet. It has to be a Spider-Man wallet. And it's a no-brainer that if you're planning on going somewhere and leaving your bike somewhere, you need a lock. Well, I have my New York Kryptonite lock. Really good. Uh, my bike hasn't been stolen so far and uh, this lock has a warranty on it where if it does break, They'll cover your bike costs up to $2,000, so I'd really recommend this. Um, so far it's worked, and uh, I usually just carry it in whatever bag I'm using. Right here's my camera bag because I'm planning on going downtown and probably shooting that vegan restaurant. And lastly, the most important thing when you go out cycling is to carry a fucking helmet. Um, you really should go out with a helmet uh, if you fall and hit your head. You could have permanent severe brain damage, concussions, or end up dead. And like I've said before, you can't make any vegan gains when you're dead. So always bring a helmet with you. And optional accessory, get a nice good big knife. Uh, I use this for cutting fruit when I'm downtown. Uh, the other day I had a jackfruit and uh, yeah, I just found a big old jackfruit when I was cycling around Chinatown. And it was ripe and I figured, hey, why not eat it? And uh, this came in handy. I wouldn't really recommend cutting into jackfruit with this type of knife though because jackfruit is really messy and this was really hard to clean, but for watermelons, mangoes, and whatever the hell else you want, really good knife. It's a cold steel Thai light 6 inch. And pro tip, if you're going to carry a knife like this, um, never ever 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 tell the cops it's for self defense purposes. Uh, it, in Canada, it's illegal to carry a knife or any weapon for self defense. so. 
just make sure you tell them it's for fruit or some sort of practical utility purposes. And uh, pro tip, uh, carry a spoon with you just to build up your story. So always bring a spoon or a fork or shit with your knife just you know, to make sure that you don't get into some serious trouble. So that's about it. Always just make sure you carry all the necessary gear with you when you're cycling, water bottles, spare inner tubes, pump, all that, and make sure you always wear your helmet and keep making those vegan gains. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow, the way it gets to your plate and how.